I am Eric with Moada.com and I greet you, beloved, in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about stocks that move and stocks that just don't move. Now, let's take a look at some examples. And here we have a stock. And let me give you the ticker symbol, AZN. Now, it's, it's a stock in the biotech pharmaceutical space but that's not the point the point is if we take a look at this long-term monthly chart it looks like the stock has had a decent run but really if you investigate this a little bit more you realize this instrument just does not move let me give you an example here so let's take a look at three years of monthly data three years of monthly data and we take the lows of 2020 early 2020 let's call that at about 35 and the stock had a run from 35 to about 62 <laughs> that's it now remember since the lows of early 2020 the market has seen a substantial move and even given the this nice move from 35 to 62 the stock never even doubled eh. Actually, go back to that long-term monthly chart. And let's take a look, for example, at this breakout here in 2018. That breakout was at about 30. And it took it has taken about three years for the stock to move from 30 in a volatile fashion to the highs there of 62. So many years just to double. Now, I'll show you some charts that really move. Now, compare this chart to the chart of the S&P 500. Now, this is an index, not a stock. S&P 500 has more than doubled. In fact, if you take the lows of the S&P 500 from early 2020 to the current highs, the S&P 500 has essentially doubled in price from the lows of early 2020 to the current highs. Now, this is an index, so you can anticipate it's not going to move as much as an individual stock. Now, let me move on. I want to show you a good example of a stock that just does not move. It is AT&T. And take a look at this. If you take a look at this bracket where the monthly chart has been trading since 2016, And now 2021, this instrument has been trading between 34 for the most 32 and let's say about 23. In five years, it has been in this box. It just doesn't move. And in fact, you can find many periods over the years where it has done nothing. Not a much here. 2012 to about 2016 just doesn't move now what i'm trying to say is that before you get aggressive anticipating that an instrument you are buying or considering to buy now is going to move it makes a lot of sense to look left what i mean by that is understand whether the instrument has a history of moving when it moves does it move right when the conditions are right for that stock that sector does the stock move? Has it moved in the past? If the answer is yes, then maybe it could move again. But if the answer is generally it doesn't move. For example, let's take a look at this T-Mobile. I'm not T-Mobile, but AT&T. It breaks out in 98. There. Goes from about 11. And in about, let's call it, no, under two years, year and a half, one and a half years, so it's called 1.5 years, moves to the highs here of about 22. So it doubled in price. But remember, this is nothing. This was a tremendous bull market period here. Technology stocks were on fire. This thing only gained 100%. Uh, it's not what you wanted to see at the time. It was a big underperform of the market. 
In fact, if we take a look at its performance relative to the market in the in that period, 1998 to 2000-ish, so we're talking about this period. All right, so what I've done is, I've, let me just show you here. So this is relative to the S&P 500. And th this period here where it broke out, this stock was underperforming the S&P 500. You can see just underperforming the market. Not a big move. Again, this is relative to the S&P 500 right here. And even lately, you can see just underperforming the market. In other words, it just doesn't move. <laughs> what is going to make this thing move? When the conditions are correct, it doesn't move. So what makes you think it's going to move when you own it? Chances are it's not going to move as much. Now compare that time period in 98. And I know this is not fair, but I'm just trying to show an extreme example. This is Amazon in the same time period. Again, a technology IPO of the time. And it was moving. Now, this is movement. You can see a breakout here in early 98. We can call that price at about 5. Another breakout. Right here. We can call that in the, let's call it, mid teens let's call it 14 oh by the way there's another breakout right here after one month of rest all of these were valid this is a monthly chart so this is a valid breakout let's call that at seven so we got a breakout at five at seven at 14 point of it is it went from five all the way to 110 within one year so we're talking about 98 breakout here in april by next april one year later it had moved from one from five excuse me to about 110 now that's movement and if you take a look at the performance relative to the s p 500 you can see that amazon was showing that it could in the future be something to consider as a potential moving instrument really outperform the market okay this set the stage for this. Now, remember the chart that I just showed you is squeezed in right there, 98 to 99. But that movement did show a potential that there was something the market was anticipating in the years to come, which is this movement. All of that was set up here. So, by looking left, we can see that this instrument already was telling us there was something in the works as early as late 90s. Let's take a look at another example. This is Tesla. Very powerful move here. Powerful move. And of course, we caught a lot of these breakouts based on the ultimate Mwadi breakout. But that's not the point. The point is, it moved well from late nineteen, late 2019. So 2019 here starts a very nice move. And eventually moves from about 50 to the current highs here, split adjusted of about, let's call it 900. Big time move. Big time move. Okay. Now, you might wonder, but where is the evidence prior to this big move? Well, the evidence was this move here you might not say it because it squeezed in there but there was a big move there and there was a digestion period that took many years building up energy for an eventual explosive run so by looking left we can investigate this area here 2013 early 2014 and it is right there now 2013 to 2014 so let's say this period here this is a big time move powerful breakout here of above five instrument goes to trade as high as 57 within the year give or take so that in itself was a big move 
5x, 10x. Is that 10x? Yeah. 10x return. And that set the stage. So this was the market anticipating the potential for this. So by looking left, we see the probability that the market is anticipating this down the road. Let's take a look at another example. This is Ethereum. And we know Ethereum went crazy as of late 2020. Big time move. Big time. We're talking about sub 400 breakout here. All the way to 43. Let's call it 4200-ish. 40, so that's another 10x. But this 10x was set by this move in 2017. This, by looking left, anticipates this. And if we zoom into that 2017 period, now we can see the 2017 period very well. 2017 is right there. This is a big time move. Huge return. We're talking about here trading under 10 all the way to 1400. Now, if I recall correctly, the breakout was in the 20s. I remember sending out a breakout alert at the time. So let's call it 20s is where the breakout really. Or, the, or, or 20s or mid-teens is where I remember we started taking a look at the breakout possibility. But anyway, at any rate, this was set by this move. This big move in 2017 eventually creates the energy for this explosive move. So by looking left and understanding that this instrument has had a prior major run, we can anticipate the possibility for a future run. Here I just want to show you an example of why we play breakouts. This instrument breaks out and I believe our breakout alert was somewhere here in April or May of last year. Goes from $40 and has recently traded as high as $360, $350. Just by timing the breakout right there. And how long can an instrument stay above 69.1? Well, this instrument's been trading above 69.1 so far for two years year number one this is year number two starting on year number three so an instrument can stay above 69.1 for years if it so desires to move higher one more now let me address this from another angle so let's say an instrument like this one here which has had a big run in 2020 big run moving from the breakout levels here of let's call it 20s to 30s so 20s to 30s breakout I'm talking about this breakout here or another breakout here on the weekly i'll show that in a minute but what i'm trying to say is that let's say now that this instrument has cooled off and they do cool off and they do need to reset so what we are saying is what i'm saying is in the future in the years ahead, in the months ahead, let's say in the years ahead, if it ever attempts to move again, of course we have to pay attention. Why? Because this was a big run. Big run. And so it could be suggesting that either that's it and it's never going to run again as much or maybe, just maybe, it could eventually in the so-called future have another similar if not bigger run so instruments like this that have already demonstrated power should always be of interest later on by the way it so happens that we were able to capture this breakout here perfectly this breakout in april mm -hmm, very desirable we caught that 
perfectly as can be seen by our breakout alert for paid clients april 16th of 2020 and there were other mentions because the stock was just looking good based on its ipo chart status which i discussed and I discuss on my channel how to time IPOs. But that's not the point. So this is the monthly. Taking a look here, we can see the breakouts I'm talking about that we were able to capture. There's a breakout here that we cut. And then there's a rest period. Cut the next breakout. And the next breakout. If you know what you're looking for in terms of rest, this was some of the entries. But the point is, right now it could be sideways to down. But we're not concerned about that. What we are concerned about is, should it ever, ever attempt to break out again in the future years, future months, we should have an interest. Why? Because it has already demonstrated the ability to move. And so it should always be one of those stocks that we could have an interest in in the future as of this instant this moment this here now i would say the same minimum requirements that gave us these breakouts for this nice move the same minimum requirements are now starting to show show up but this time in the opposite direction in other words this instrument could become a leadership stock on the way down because there's a probability it's rsi could be breaking down to three-year lows one of the macd's is already at three-year lows and that would mean it meets the minimum requirements for the ultimate moade sell signals what i call it which is the exact opposite method to the ultimate while the breakout method links are in the description friends it was a lengthy video but please please it makes a lot of sense that an instrument should have demonstrated strength and potential and the ability to move so by looking left we can anticipate how much energy an instrument has when the conditions are correct for it to move some stocks as we've established just don't move as highlighted by the at t chart this thing has stayed in the higher 20s for almost like two years now what's the point i know many are gonna say oh i'm in it for the dividends but that's their choice and it's all good but let's be honest You'd rather own this, skip the dividends. That's Tesla. You'd rather own this, Ethereum, skip the dividends, please. And you'd rather own something like this. Maybe even with dividends, but why not? And you'd rather own a fresh idea, fresh IPO with this type of a move. Yeah, skip the dividends and give me this, right? right so friends before we cross the road let's look left so we can understand what's gonna be the potential for things to go right and so it is i am eric with moade.com and i leave you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator go forth therefore rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one prime creator adonai my friends adonai